<laughs> hey, what's up, y'all? Um, I feel like I keep doing these kind of videos. Um, and I'm sure you you knew this video was coming. Anyways, um, uh, so basically, <coughs> real quick, earlier today, man, my homie, and I, and I mean that, he's a good guy, man. We get, it's, it's a cool friendship, uh, social media friendship. Um, my guy, Will, made a post on Facebook and uh, on the reform facebook.com slash reform bars and basically he um it, it came across i'm not gonna lie to you initially when i read it like it was a jab at me right um and like i said he could have definitely worded it much better than how he did and also i could have taken it much better than i did but he he said um carlos uh, my, my brother carlos uh Next time you do a review, could you spend two or more weeks uh, listening to the album before you do a review? <coughs> and he said, thanks, you know, after that. And I'm not gonna lie, I initially just took that man to the left. And, and here's why, right? It was just really bad timing. Um, me and the wife was not vibing, man. We was we had a, we don't argue much, but we had one, and so my, I'm already upset there. And that's on the way to work. <laughs> then I get to work, and dudes at work is upset, um, coming at me, not coming twisted, just people just acting crazy, right? Um, the Lord's been, been gracious in my position, and so cast on, you know, it's whatever. And so um, we had to, had to deal with that. And then I, I get on Facebook, and then my guy, in a sense, takes a jab at me, right? And so I uh, just immediately just snapped out and, and you know, and I, and I meant when I said, man, I apologize. The homie Derek really drove that home as to where I was wrong at and <laughs> things like that. And um, yeah, so, so I'm, I'm, I'm sorry about that. But what Will was asking, like I said, he could have he worded it different, right? But I definitely could have handled it different. But what he was asking, right, was a legit question. And it's probably a question that I probably should have answered way before this had popped off, right? What he was asking was, how is it that I do, what is my procedure when it comes to reviewing albums, right? Like, how do I go about doing this, right? And, and he's asked that because the album drops, my man Chris Jones' album drops on Friday, well, Thursday night, you know, Friday morning, and I had the review done. Um, I, I, I reported the review actually Sunday night, <clears throat> so that's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, three days, two and a half, three days, and I had to review out. And he's just like, based like, yo, like, you don't spend enough time in three days with the album to really, you know, give it its all, to really grasp what he's trying to, what anybody's trying to say. And I want to clarify that. Um, I wasn't going to, my wife actually, she was just like, you need to do a video, you need to clarify that. She she was she was bad. Uh, one, one of my homies made a good point, though, um, I, as, a, as a crew that I got, um, that rock with uh, instant messenger and I, I I said hey y'all I want your honest opinion which they always give me um on the, the you know interaction between you know Will and myself and you know they was like yo and one cat in particular was basically like I ain't gonna front lows you know what I'm saying you jumped out the window real fast with this with thinking that he was disrespecting you um but I get it because this is you're really passionate about what you do right so he wasn't justifying me jumping out the window, but simply saying, one, you jump out the window, you should jump out the window, but two, I get it because you really enjoy what you do, right? <clears throat> and I want to explain something to you. So the album dropped Thursday night, Friday morning. I got it Friday. I played this album, it's only eight songs, but I played this album nonstop all day Friday. All Friday night. Woke up Saturday, cleaning the house, played the album. My daughter had an orientation for school, played the album driving to the school. We One, one thing my wife and I love, love to do on the weekends is, you know, we got a little extra money, put some gas in the tank, man, grab the kids and us some food, and we just go for a drive, drive around the city, look at the city, playing the album. Got home that night, playing the album. Sunday rolls around, uh, on the way to church, playing the album. At the church, playing the album. Dropped the family off, I went to the gym, I'm at the gym, playing the album. And then after the gym, I went to go pick up my family, and that's when I did the review. So, although it may have come across like I just did it for three quick days, and I just heard it maybe a few times, blah, blah, I literally played this album. And this, this, is, this is what I do with all the albums. <coughs> Every single album review that I do, although it may seem like I do it in maybe one or two days, I guarantee you, I am playing this album 
to the point where my family hates it. Like Chris's first album, Mano, my wife literally said, when are you gonna play something different? Like I play, I play these albums, I overplay the album because I want to fully grasp, understand what's being said. Then I spend some time where I just kind of fall back and chill and reflect on what's being said and, and, and bask in what's being said. And, and then I do my review. I don't, I promise you, I give you my word as a man as a man of God, I don't just play it one time. I'm like, all right, bet, here we go. Nah, I really sit with these albums for a long time. Which is why I don't, one of the reasons why I don't do singles is because <clears throat> you know, I want to hear the album in its, in its totality. I want to hear all the album before I say anything about it. I try, I try not to even get in, involved in conversations on Facebook about the album. Cats like, oh, the album is dope, and I love this here so far. Like, yeah, I'm a chill because I want to make sure I get the album in its fullness before I, I comment. And something that, um, uh, 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 Kirk, Kirk Kennedy, shout out to the homie Kirk, man. But when he did that podcast joint, he made a comment about, you know, me. Uh, same thing. Simply, this is the second time. So pretty much the same thing that Will said or Will's wondering is, you know, how is you do the album? I gave you the album on Friday. <coughs> you do a review on Sunday or Monday actually. Um, this appendix is, is like 108 songs. Um, but he's like, you know, it's a it's a it's a big album. How you do this so fast? And so I want to explain that real real quick. At the time, I was working at this uh, landfill. We were doing security for this landfill. It's 30 minutes away from my house. Okay. And so I would. So when I got the album. So this is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I drove to work, 30 minutes away, playing this album. It's a 12 hour shift. I'm in this big truck, driving around, headphones in, driving around for 12 hours, playing this album. Now I took time out you know, to eat and to watch some Netflix movies, whatever like that, but for, for, for the most part, playing this album. Then it's 30 minutes back home, playing this album. Went to the gym, playing this album. Spent time with the family, didn't play the album, but then I had to go to work on Saturday, 30 more minutes playing this album 12 hours playing the album 30 minutes home playing the album 15 minutes at the gym playing the album sunday same thing 30 minutes album 12 album 30 album review i don't know how most cats listen to music me when i listen to music especially for review i consume myself in in the album i i i really don't want to hear nothing else but that album because I take it as so my mom my man was was my man Eric was was on points as a passion. I I enjoy what I do. I don't get paid for this. I literally had a guy say to me, no lie, no that direction. He said, hey man, I'll pay you in to review my album. And I quickly said, nah, fam, I don't I don't take money for this. <clears throat> now if you want I told him you want to give me money because I'm broke, bet, but not for the review. I don't ever want to get paid for this. I don't ever want to get sponsored by an artist or a label for doing reviews because I never want it to be tainted. I never want someone, even Will is my guy, Christ centric is my people's, but if Evangel, which I can never see happening, if Evangel put a, put a whack album, I'm about to say, probably with tears in my eyes and you know, phone up on, on, on the side, but saying, yo, it's a whack album. Like, I just gotta be honest. I, I gotta be 100 with you. I gotta be straight with you. I'm never gonna give you fake news or, I hate that I just said that. But I'm never gonna give you fakeness. I'm never gonna, you know what I'm saying, uh, patty cake with it. I'm always gonna give you straight truth, whether you like it or not. And I'm gonna spend time. So the truth that I give you is truth that's been given because I spent time in that joint. Like I really listened to it. And then and if I don't know you too well, I try to go back and do history on your old stuff and hear it like with, with the, the NF joint. Like I never heard NF before before I, NF before, before I did this album review. And so I went back and heard all what, three albums prior to I heard one of them twice just to get a feel for who he is before I say, okay, this is my thoughts on him, right? Like, I, I'm serious about this, man. I, I take this serious. Why? Because y'all trust me, man. Like, dudes come to me all the time and say, yo, and some, a lot of it's just, yo, do it privately. Can you listen to my album and just give me a private uh, uh, review? Which is funny because they don't want me to put them on blast, you know, or whatever. I don't know. But, um, <clears throat> but yeah, it means a lot to me, man, that cats would care about what I think. And so I take it serious. And so um, outside of the wife situation and everything and my job and everything, when Will said what he said, I took that joint personal because I felt like it was an attack on something that I really enjoyed doing. But if I just would have chilled for a minute and just like, like, what you mean, fam? And knowing Will, Will, is, Will, is, Will like, he ain't that rah rah, at least not with me, he ain't, you know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, I, I just, I just, I don't know. I, I just took it personal. I took it as an offense because of the fact that I take this, I take this seriously. And I, I you know, yeah, and so uh, once again, I do apologize. Uh, I don't take that back, but I want to explain that you know, 
I, I jump out the window, as they say, because of the fact that I take this serious. I enjoy reviewing y'all's albums. I, I love it when y'all say, hey, man, check this out, tell me what you think. And cast know when they come to me and say what you think, they know they don't get that real. I'm not going to fake with you. I'm never taking money from nobody. I'm never taking sponsorship. Y'all, I'll give you a shirt. I'm never, ever, ever, ever doing that because I want to give y'all that 100. By God's race in love, but I want to give you the 100. And that's what you're going to get from me. And so um, that's why it came like it came because I love doing this. Now, I'll take a check from, from YouTube. I get that. I ain't taking a check from y'all because I want to be 100. Yeah. That's it.